Belmarsh is a high profile, high risk in terms of the individuals that we hold. But we also need to bear in mind that there is a resettlement agenda. We've got individuals coming through our system who a lot of the times are forgotten. And I want to make sure we put things in place to enable them to absolutely get into some form of employment. It gives me great pleasure to open the Belmarsh Dry Lining Academy. We're really excited to be here today for the launch of our Dry Lining Academy at HMP Belmarsh. It's going to be a great opportunity for prisoners here to get some real tactical skills that will help them when they leave to get jobs and careers in construction. It can't be understated in terms of people understanding we've got something like 20 guys absolutely waiting to get on here. It gives them an opportunity going into a career that they have considered before but thought it was unattainable. What we're trying to do is give them the tools to be able to go on to do that work. Not only is it going to help with the skills challenge that we're facing in construction at the moment, but it's also going to help with the government's really targeted approach to support offenders into getting into work. There's such strong statistical analysis that says if you get a job when you leave prison, then it's going to stop you going back in. And we really think that's important at Wilmot Dixon. And construction can give such a good, stable environment for people. Dry lining is a, a process where we, we build internal walls within the construction trade. Previous years, you'd build with bricks and mortar and sand and cement. This is a very quick process for for putting up internal and external walls. We have already previously opened a dry line academy in HMP Emily. We trained over 100 people and none of them have re-offended, so we know it works. To pull together an academy in a Category A prison takes a lot of tenacity. It takes a lot of people doing a hard graft, actually, it's not an easy thing to do. So I'm just really proud of the fact that we're here, that the passion and dedication of the people involved has um, managed to secure this wonderful opportunity for the prisoners here. I'm really proud to work with an organisation who's got faith in us to be able to start making those new changes, those foundations for the future. <laughs>